Hey, loser! I've invited everyone in the office to my wedding, but I just want to make this clear. That invitation doesn't include you. You're not permitted to set one foot in the venue on my wedding day. Got that? Hey, Aaron. Congratulations on your engagement. I heard about the invitation. What do you mean I'm not invited? I thought that everyone in the office was welcome. Yeah, I've invited everyone else, but not you. You're a useless piece of crap, and I don't want you there. You're just going to take up space and waste my money. So, I guess that this is your usual tactic of trying to ostracize me and separate me from the rest of the guys. You may think it's funny, but it's actually really unpleasant. So would you cut it out already? Plus, you're the only one that thinks that I'm useless. Everyone else thinks that I'm a great help, and I think that I have good dynamics with everyone except for you. That's because everyone else is too easy on you. They're all just getting on with their own jobs. But as section chief, my job is to make sure that everyone is doing their job correctly. I'm not going to be as easy on you as everyone else is. Don't expect me to be the nice guy just because you're new. Then why don't you tell me why you think I'm so useless? I think that would be more productive than just name calling and giving me the silent treatment. I've been at this company for a year, but I'm already doing as much work as the people around me who have been working here for years. Why do you hate me that much? It's obvious you've got something personal against me. So what is it? Well, first of all, you're 35, aren't you? Yeah, I am. There's only one year's difference between us. But you only just entered the company a year ago. I didn't know what you were doing up until now, and I don't give a crap. But it's obvious that you're a late bloomer. Look at me. I'm already a section chief. I think that just goes to show how useless you are. Everyone's different, Aaron. We make different decisions, and we choose different paths. That doesn't make you better than me. I have my own reasons for choosing to work here. Don't you think that it's a little too excessive to call me useless because of that? Let me give you another reason why I'm better than you. After I get married, I'm going to resign to go work in a different company. Oh, really? My fiancé's family owns a major business. I think that if I go and get a job there after we're married, I'll get the chance to take over the company when her dad's gone. I'm going to be the CEO of a major company one day. What are you going to be doing when I'm sitting in the top chair? Getting coffee for the new section chief? Ha! <laughs> I'm just that much better than you. But that's only going to happen if the bride and her family accept and want you as their next CEO, right? What are you trying to say? That I'm not good enough? I didn't say anything about your abilities. I just have a feeling that you've just imagined the most convenient outcome for yourself without even thinking about the other possibilities, or about the feelings of the other people involved. I was wondering if your fiancé actually agrees with you. That's all. What would you know? You don't know how rich people think. You're already 35, and you've only recently gotten a full-time job. You wouldn't understand anything about the world I'm going to marry into. Of course I don't know how your fiancé feels. I didn't mean to act as though I did. I'm very sorry. I'm sure you'll be very happy together. Yeah, well, frankly, the woman I'm marrying isn't that much of a big deal. It's a shame. She's not that bright and she's not that pretty. If she was, everything would have been perfect. Huh? What are you talking about? What? Did you think I was marrying for love or something? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I was dating her because I was bored, and I was planning on dumping her if I found a better girl. But thanks to my research skills, I found out that her family was rich. That's why I'm marrying her. I just want her money. Really? That's your reason? Aren't you going to regret spending the rest of your life with someone you don't love? What? Why would I regret it? I just thought that it sounded kind of lonely to marry someone for their money instead of wanting to be with them. I guess everybody really is different. I'm sorry I said anything. But what about your fiancé? She doesn't know that you don't love her? Isn't that kind of disrespectful to her? That's what I hate about you. I'm sorry, what? The way you act like such a hypocrite, it pisses me off. Do you think that you're better than me or something? Just because you want to marry for love? The world goes around on money. Even you should know that. No, you especially should know that, since you're poor. I'm going to marry that woman, and I'm going to become rich and famous. How can I hate her? She's the reason why I'm going to become a CEO. That's not a bad reason to like her. Uh, yeah, sure. If that's what you say, everyone thinks in different ways, so I don't have any right to butt in and tell you you're wrong. If anyone can, it's the bride herself. Anyway, I haven't received an invitation to the wedding, so of course I won't interrupt your big day. Don't worry, you can enjoy it without me bothering you. Yeah, good. That's what I wanted to hear. I wouldn't have forgiven someone as useless as you coming to my wedding. You're just a loser. Don't forget that. It would have been a pain in the ass if you had come and caused trouble, too. 
I wouldn't have gay crashed your wedding just to spite you. But if that's what you think of me, then go ahead and keep on thinking that. It doesn't make any difference to me what you think. I'll see you at work, Aaron. Michelle? What is this? What's what? I got an invitation to your wedding, but... Huh? Of course you did, silly. You're coming, right? There's no way you're missing out on my special day. What's wrong? Can't you come? I'm talking about the guy you're going to marry. I wasn't there when your fiancé came to introduce himself to mom and dad, but... I think this guy is my manager at work. Seriously? You know him? That's great! That way you don't have to worry about what kind of guy he is. Oh, or maybe he just has the same name? No, I don't think so. He's due to get married on the same day that's written on your invitation. I think that's too much to be called a coincidence. Ah, so you do know Aaron. <laughs> wow, it really is a small world. That must mean you've gotten invitations from both of us without us noticing. That's strange. No. I just have the invitation from you, but I'm pretty sure that the guy you're going to marry is the section chief at my company. He's your section chief? <laughs> That's kind of funny. If you didn't go to work at that tiny company, you wouldn't even have a boss. To think that my fiancé is your manager. Your humbleness is your strength, Mike. I get that you're trying to praise me, but don't say it like that. Even if it's a small company, there's still a lot for me to learn before I come back. I'm doing my best to soak up as much knowledge as I can. Besides, it'll be over soon, so he won't be my manager for long. Yeah, I know. Alright then, look forward to the wedding. I'll keep quiet that you're coming because I want to surprise him on the day, so don't say anything to him either. It's our secret, okay? The more surprises, the more fun. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, hey, Michelle, I've got a favor to ask. What the hell were you doing? I warned you, didn't I? Are you an idiot? Did you not understand when I told you not to come? You don't even know why I was there. It would have been smarter for you to check first, but you didn't even give me the chance to explain or introduce myself before you punched me and chased me out of the venue. You're even worse than I initially thought you were. It's your own fault. I warned you and you disobeyed me. I just punished you for not listening to me, that's all. This is my wedding day. Don't ruin it by turning up, you loser. Get out of here. Are you really sure you want me to leave? That's what I've been saying. Are you so stupid that you can't even understand English? Huh? Is that what's wrong with you? You don't speak no English? Get out and go practice your speaking before you show your face to me. Leave right now, loser. You're the idiot, Aaron. Huh? What did you say to me? You've gotten it into your head that you have the right to be angry with me, but you're mistaken about one big thing. If I leave, you're going to regret having spoken to me like this. You're going to be begging for me to come back. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nobody cares if you leave, loser, least of all me. You can't do anything to me. You're just a useless piece of crap that can't do anything. Nobody wants someone like you at such an important event. This is my big day. The day I get everything. Nobody can stop me from telling you to leave. Sure, if that's what you want to believe, it's too late to turn things around, Aaron. I'm leaving. Leave, goddammit! Why did you even come in the first place? You knew that you didn't belong here and that I was going to tell you to leave. Why waste your time? You really wanted to crash my wedding and ruin my big day? Huh? After I warned you that much that you weren't welcome? That's the only reason I can think of you turning up today. You're not welcome here, loser. Don't come here without my permission ever again. I hope my punch helped you regain some common sense. Now you know that you're not worthy of being here. Don't ever come back. Then give my regards to the bride. Tell her that her brother is leaving. What? What are you talking about? Her brother's leaving? Who's her brother? You? It's up to you whether to believe me or not. I don't care anymore. So I'm leaving. I'm not interested in wishing you the best with my sister. You got what you wanted. I just hope that your wedding goes on without any problems or any other interruptions. Goodbye, Aaron. Hey, Michael, where are you? Do you think that you can come back to the wedding venue? What? After you punched me and kicked me out? What made you change your mind? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I didn't really mean it. I'd be grateful if you just 
come back as soon as possible. I was wrong to act so aggressively. I just got a little too heated up, that's all. Let's talk when you get back. Did you talk with my little sister? Is that why you're asking me to come back? Michelle told me that she wanted it to be a surprise, that she wanted to introduce me before the ceremony started. I didn't realize that she was up to something like that. It was wrong of me to chase you away. She was pretty shocked when she realized you were gone. Anyway, you're family. So I hope you'd come back to the wedding venue so that we can continue the ceremony. Everyone's waiting for you. So can you come back as soon as possible? It's too late for that. I asked you if you were sure that you wanted me to leave, and you told me to get out. I don't know what my sister told you, but I have an idea that she said something that made you realize what a mistake it was to kick me out. I warned you, didn't I? That you would regret it? And now you're panicking. What do you mean it's too late? I'm asking nicely here! Don't you think it's polite to answer to that request? It's my wedding day, Michael! Don't embarrass me! Will you come back to the wedding venue? It doesn't matter how politely you ask me. I told you that I was the bride's brother. You chose not to believe me, and still told me to leave, despite me warning you not to. I told you the truth, and I explained what I was doing there. But you didn't care. I left because you told me I wasn't welcome, and I'm not returning. I don't even want to look at you. Seriously? You don't have to say that! Then what about your sister? Michelle's been running around looking for you! Can't you come back for her sake? She's upset that her big brother isn't here for her on her big day! It's her wedding day as well as mine! Can't you just forget about the stuff between us and come back? No, I can't. Why are you being so stubborn? Are you seriously going to be that selfish on your little sister's wedding day? Come on, you're going to ruin everything for her! Especially if you tell her that I punched you and that I told you to leave! Please, can we keep that between us? What do you mean, keep it between us? I mean, let's not tell her what happened. You understand, right? Let's pretend that it never happened, for Michelle's sake, and we work together! Let's not make things awkward, come on, man! I'm asking nicely! We want to get the ceremony started, so will you come back? You don't want to make a scene, do you? So, for your sister's sake, don't say anything about what happened! You've got to be joking. Are you being serious? What? You punched me for no good reason, and you want me to keep quiet? And you're trying to use my sister as an excuse to keep me from saying anything. But you just don't want me to tell her so that she won't leave you. You're only thinking about yourself. What's the point? No matter how much you lie, you can't hide the truth that you punched me from her. She won't know anything if you don't tell her! Come on! I'm asking you to not ruin our wedding day! You can't seriously think that you can keep it a secret from her. There must have been someone watching. How many people do you think are walking around this place? You're the host. You should know. Someone's bound to have seen it, and she'll find out in no time. You punched me in the face, Aaron. She's going to be disappointed that you could do something like that. And everyone's going to be shocked that you did something that excessive. Why do you think I'm apologizing to you so much? I'm desperate here! Can't you just forgive me already? I've learned my lesson, and I'm not going to do it again! Apologizing? Aaron, I haven't heard one word of apology from you. Ever. All you've been saying to me is to not tell Michelle what you did, and to not make a scene. You've been making me out as the bad guy that's trying to ruin your wedding day. You're just scared that everything you've said and done to me will ruin your chances of marrying my sister and getting your hands on my family's money. That's why you want me to keep quiet about what you've done, right? Michael, we're going to be brothers! So what if we have a few arguments like that? Let's just forget about everything that's happened until now and enjoy our new relationship! I want us to get along from now on, as family! We're going to see each other more often too, so it's best if we start off on the right foot, don't you think? We're going to be working together too! I think I'll get along fine without a brother. What? What do you mean? I mean that your motive for marrying my sister, for marrying into this family, was because you're after my parents' money, and you think that you'll gain the right to take over the company. That's what you told me just the other week, without realizing that you were marrying my sister. To be honest, I didn't know that Michelle was marrying you either, so I didn't realize that you were talking about our company. But at least now I know why you're so desperate to stay on my good side, and want to keep Michelle from getting upset. Unfortunately for you, it's too late. I already went to the police after you punched me. What? You went to the police? 
Yeah, and I'm about to file the police report against you for punching me. Once my sister finds out what happened, I'm pretty sure that the wedding will be cancelled, or at least put on hold. Either way, it's not happening today. You're not going to get to marry my little sister. No way! But we've already gotten married legally! Today's just for the ceremony! There is no point cancelling the wedding! And you can't stop it that easily! How much time, money, and effort do you think we put into preparing everything today? You think that you're already legally married? But my sister hasn't been to the registrar's office yet. I asked her not to send in the documents until the wedding was over. You're kidding. We're not married yet? You thought she had already taken the contracts and stuff. I told her not to send them yet when I found out that she was marrying you. She was confused about why I asked her to do that, but she agreed with me when I told her that it would be best to wait until the ceremony was definitely over and done with before filing them. I knew that you would mess up and show your true colors if I turned up at the wedding uninvited, but I didn't think that you'd go as far as punch me. Wait a minute, so I'm not married yet? Yeah, you're not going to get married. Not to my little sister. I think you should be more worried about the fact that you're going to go to jail for battery. For battery? What the hell are you talking about? I haven't committed a crime? You punched me in the face. Of course you should be punished for it. I think it's only obvious that you get arrested. And in that case, you're going to get fired. I hope you finally understand what you've done and how serious the situation is. You've got to be joking! Are you trying to ruin my life? What's wrong with you? My plan's completely ruined! I thought I was going to be living like a celebrity after I got married to Michelle! I thought I was going to be rich! What have you done? What have I done? You're still going to blame me? I think that's unjustified. But let me give you a heads up. Even if you marry my sister, you're not going to become CEO of our company. You're not going to gain the life you think you're going to get. I mean, you won't be poor, but you're not going to get the career you're dreaming of. What? Why not? My sister doesn't have any intention of taking over the company. She's already got her own career that she's happy with. I'm the one that's in line to take over the family business. I'm only working in another company right now because I'm trying to gain as much experience before I become CEO. What? That's why I started working in the same company as you at this age. I told you, remember? That everyone has their own reasons and their own circumstances. But you still treated me like I was useless. Like I was a failure. For what? Is it so bad that someone starts working full time when they turn 35? Isn't it worse to punch someone for no reason at all? I plan on telling the HR department about all of the insults and the harassment. So it's definite that you're not going to have a job to go back to once you're out of jail. Maybe you should have worked more on fixing your personality, rather than working so hard on finding a spouse to leech off of. You were spending a lot of time calling me an idiot, a loser, and a failure, but I wonder who the real loser is. You're going to be experiencing hell after this, so do your best. You're going to need it, loser. In the end, Michael's sister Michelle found out about what happened between Michael and Aaron at the wedding venue and she was absolutely speechless. She had no idea that Aaron was capable of doing something so violent and cancelled the wedding immediately. Michael filed the report to the police and soon after Aaron was arrested by the police and taken away to the local station for questioning. Apparently, he received notification from his employers that he was out of a job as soon as he was convicted. Michelle was relieved that she managed to avoid marrying a man that didn't love or respect her and that she had gotten rid of him thanks to Michael. Aaron had never expected his plans to go wrong and had been looking forward to the job and the money he thought he would be getting. So he really did feel like he was in hell after he was arrested. Now he's out of prison, he's not only got to start from step one to get another job, but he's got to regain the trust of the people around him. Maybe if he had more empathy for people from different walks of life, he would have had less trouble gaining sympathy from others when he needed it the most. But he really only has himself to blame for everything that's happened to him. We can only hope that he'll reflect on his actions and try to do better from now on. The only problem is that it might be difficult for him to change if he's not willing to improve his own personality.